Oh my god, I'm so scared, Brad. Stop! You're gonna get hurt! Well, I guess there's a, a trail, 4x4 trail here in the middle of Arches National Park. So we're gonna check this out. I don't think it's anything difficult though, but there we go. Oh yeah, don't follow him. You won't make it. <laughs> well, so far, the views are really nice. Nice and pretty. But I'm failing to see the uh, impassable when wet part. So we'll see if that turns into anything. Otherwise, it's just a otherwise it's just a washboard road. Oh boy, fellas! I think this is our first obstacle. It's a double dog leg. Might be impassable. I think we need four wheel drive for this. Oh no, guys! There's it's raining. See oh, the no. you see the raindrops on the windshield. The trail's gonna be impassable. All joking aside, though. We're standing off. <laughs> you shall not pass. In all seriousness, though, like if if you guys have like a little SUV or something like that, and you're out here in Arches National Park, it's kind of a a nice just offshoot away from the touristy type stuff, and just looks really cool out here. I mean. We just passed a Mitsubishi, like, Outlander or whatever the heck those things are called. A little small Mitsubishi SUV. They did that just fine. But, you know, this is this is really cool just kind of being out here with nature. Well, there's a technical four-wheel drive road. So if you're coming in from the north side, it's going to be left-hand turn. All vehicles stay on designated roads. Technical four-wheel drive road, high clearance, low range, four-wheel drive required. Vehicles must stay on designated roads. Hey, we might find some fun then. Let's see Ruby get flexy. I know. The camping gear is not going to help. You know, video never shows this stuff. It's it's a decent climb. Uh, I could definitely see if it had rained a whole bunch how this could be impassable because the dirt out here is kind of this weird soft dirt sand mix stuff. But uh, you can do this in a stock Jeep, no problem. Just tire placement. Trail just continues on, kind of more of the same, just buried rock. Again, tire placement, and just watch out for those uh, differential smashers. <laughs> all this stuff on. There's a big thug with that much weight. <laughs> yeah, it's all on the roof. Becky was describing this uh, dirt kind of like, she said it was like oobleks. So it's like really soft, but when you mash on it hard, it sticks. It's actually a really interesting texture. Oh, you won't even feel it. Well, with all this weight, I will. You won't even feel it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's starting to snow. I don't know if you guys can tell in the video here. Yeah, it's starting to snow. But man, the views here are gorgeous. This is pretty cool. Nice little Easter egg in here. Uh, found uh, the trail on Gaia Maps.
Driver a little. Okay, straight. Straight. There you go. Straighten it out. You're good. Passenger. You good? So as you make this final ascent, hey, Becky. Look at that view. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, it's starting to get cold out there. Um, but make the crest of this hill and it's a slow climb so pretty. back down. So it's just bumpy rock here. There's nothing too technical. Just a couple of little small uh, lips that you gotta go over. Yeah, this is a fun little jaunt. Heck yeah, that, that was awesome. I like that. Got an awesome photo of the Jeep. Oh, you can't see through the window. Got an awesome photo of the Jeep and all of this in the background. What do you guys think of the uh, first trail in Moab? Good. Good. Yeah. So let's let's I tell. I can feel the Ooblex feeling sand. <laughs> Me too. Let's tell uh, YouTube what your uh, what what word you just learned. Despite despite. So let's use it in a sentence. You ready? Despite the fact. That Castle Rock is supposed to be in a blizzard. <laughs> we have more snow in Moab. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so uh, Colorado is supposed to be getting like two to four feet of snow in in the Front Range area, and uh, we just checked the uh, video cameras back at the house, and it's just wet. We're actually seeing more snow out here in Moab than we are uh, back back home. So uh, we came out here to kind of run away from the blizzard, and it chased us. <laughs> if you guys do this it might be worth airing down um, again with all of our gear completely packed back there uh, our compressor was uh, buried so we opted not to air down it's important to uh, get out and check ledges instead of just driving off of them because as the trail comes down this way, if you would have gone straight, especially on this, which looks like uh, somebody's either gone up or down right here. All right, you're gonna have to trust me on this one, because uh, there's a big hole. Yes, uh, there's a big hole on the left and a big hole on the right. And what you're going through is just wide enough for the Jeep. Okay.
take her the hard line? No, I'm gonna take her down the easy line. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this weather. I'm gonna run down this here really quick. Ah, that's heck of a hill. So overall this trail did surprise me, um, probably should have aired down, we're driving on a lot of soft sand uh, and this does take us through pretty much the heart of Arches National Park. Um, definitely fun, I enjoyed it, um, I mean if you've never been here and you got a vehicle that's capable of doing this, I definitely recommend doing it, but uh, give yourself a few hours to to finish it up but uh in the end you know, i i enjoyed it what'd you think Becky? yeah it was good and um, not for just the occasional off-road dirt road kind of experience let's see what is that one salt valley road tower arch and four-wheel drive road south end so um if you take this trail from the north end and come down south it is easier than if you go from the south end up north. So the the uh, trail guide that we were looking at told us to start at the north end and come down. Definitely I get it, there's a lot more technical stuff to climb if you go from the south end to the north. But uh, if you just want something easy, uh, moderate difficulty trail, this is definitely, um, this is definitely worth, <laughs> yeah, Ruby's throwing mud all over the windshield. This one's definitely worth the trail New to SMS do. from OS, Press you connect uh, phone button and say text message Ruby. to read it. You're being rude. I'm filming, filming an outro here. But anyways, if you guys made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Consider hitting that like, subscribe uh, button down at the bottom. And uh, this is day one of our Moab trip. So time to go and check into the cabins and uh, we'll do Vincent Things and Hell's Revenge tomorrow. Thanks guys.